So, I was just listening to Cole Robinson, the snake diet guy, and, um, uh, <laughs> he is, um, in this particular video, telling people to drink their own piss, which I see the point of what he's making, but he's telling people that you know, if you drink your own piss, you're going, <laughs> you're going to feel better when you're dry, like fasting, um, I guess dry fasting, but then you drink your own piss. I don't, I don't see how that would be dry fasting. And he says that like, without the piss, you're, <laughs> Sorry, it's just something funny. Then you're you're gonna feel like shit. And uh, he also um, tells people like, do not drink coffee because it's shit and it ruins your gut and whatever the fuck he says about it. So <clears throat> I believe. It's not a competition, but I've been dry fasting longer than cool. Much longer. And he's wrong. You can be on day five for dry fast and not feel like shit, period. And you don't have to drink a piss. But if you drink coffee, then, um, then you won't feel like shit. If you, uh... Um, well, getting like cardio movement going, it really kicks your body into ketosis. And then along with the coffee, full fat cream in the morning, which might seem like, oh, you're not really doing like a six day dry fast if you're drinking coffee in the morning. But my theory is that actually you're you're not really breaking the dry fast because you piss all that out. Like, I haven't ever measured it. Like, this is how much coffee I'm drinking and this is how much I'm pissing out. But I feel like I'm pissing out more than what I drank. So I feel like it helps the dry fast. It boosts it. Um... And then he also craps on alcohol. So yeah, if you're being a total dumbass and drinking way too much coffee and way too much alcohol, then obviously that's an issue. Probably drink way too much piss and make that have that be an issue. It seems like all things done in excess are terrible for you. So... I feel like I am a lot more successful with a lot less suffering. And don't do this if you're an alcoholic or a coffee addict or whatever. I guess, you know, if you're letting it ruin your life, like ding dong, these are tools. They're not things that you abuse and overuse. So, um, I'm a mommy of many children and a single mommy of many children and so I have to do shit and I'm not gonna do shit feeling like shit period um but I'm also not gonna do things that harm my health and so tools I've used to help me dry fast longer are these natural actual you know medicines and so um when they're used as tools rather than vices, maybe that's the difference. <clears throat> then they, they help us have success. And so um, do your due diligence. I ain't telling you what to do, but it's just my perspective and ideas on this is that he's wrong. Uh, 
coffee helps me be able to continue to drive fast. And I am a very, um, I have a very high tolerance for coffee and alcohol, etc. However, the reason why isn't because I built up a tolerance. It's because I have a very high animal fat diet. So those things actually metabolize differently in me than they do in a person that's, say, on a plant diet and a high sugar diet. Like, sugar is just going to fuck you up so bad that you, you're going to digest that shit like shit. And it's going to make you feel horrible. Uh, it's not it's not your friend in that case um, but because I do eat a very extremely high fat diet when I am not fasting and I have very low amount of plants and very low amount of sugar I have like a little bit of honey in my coffee once in a while when I'm not on a fast um, I'm able to metabolize those things very easily and smoothly and as nature intended, I believe, because of my high fat diet. And so I actually can drink extremely strong coffee and prefer to because a small cup of espresso, boom, tiny amount of liquid, hits the spot on the energy level, then I'm doing stuff all day, boom, 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 go on hike, swim, paddle board, wh whatever, you name it, and dry fasted other than that, you know, espresso, which isn't this, it's bigger than that, it's like, <laughs> okay, oh, I can't turn my camera around, let's see, I wonder if I can, just show you so the see i hopefully you're able to see those stoves and that right there is a stove top espresso maker so i drink whatever volume that is but it's a lot less liquid than i would drink if it wasn't espresso right because i'd want to drink the volume of that gives me the energy that i want and um no, I don't need it. I can definitely drive fast without it. I've drive fast as many times without it. But the suffering is more. And I'm not really into suffering, to be honest. I feel like I've suffered enough in my life. Thank you. And um, I'm still, you know, accomplishing my goals with the dry fasting. And so that's my aid and my helper in that. Now I also am a master meditator. I meditate all the time, all day long. I am in a state of constant monitoring my vibration and using breath to keep myself So, I drink my coffee and that doesn't go to my brain and to like, I'm not like spazzing out, right? I'm using my breath and um that monitoring and my vibration to channel the energy that the coffee gives me um, to my extremities and to the doing of what I need to do and not burning myself spazzing out in my mind. I mean, not burning myself out because if I was uh, just to l allow the caffeine to run rampant in my system and have no monitor monitoring of it or micromanaging of it then it would just go to my head and i'd go and then run ah, and then i'm now burned out <laughs> i don't know if that makes any sense it's so hard to describe but i do channel it and i put it to where it's most useful to me to get things accomplished that i most want to accomplish with ease with tranquility with um uh, with itness, I guess I want to say. Um, you know, I, I want to have minimal mistakes, right? So I'm like through the day. And then at the evening, 
I, you know, maybe I'm burned out, I'm tired, I'm getting ornery, but I don't want to be tired, ornery, and burned out. I need to make dinner, right? And I have to feed my kids and I have to clean up dinner. So I'll have a couple of shots of um, what I like is vodka and uh, boom. It's the spot, gives me energy, I put on my music, boom, boom, boom. I use that to boost my energy as well and to keep my vibration high in a high joyful place because happy people are healthy people they're energized people and music helps me get there because i choose to listen to music that makes me happy um so yeah cole's getting results but he's also getting them via making people suffer a lot more than they need to that's my opinion and um you know he's really great at promoting himself and getting himself seen and so forth and so that's great and i think that regardless of his pushing to do things in the most difficult way possible is great because it's pushing people to do things that are still good for them right don't listen to me if you don't feel good about what i'm saying don't try it if you try it and don't feel good don't do it but i like to do it this way because it makes the drive fast super easy and smooth i mean not the last drive fast i've done but the um, it was about a month ago, maybe, maybe two, I don't remember, a month, a month and a half. I went six days, and I went six days while taking care of all my little kids, my businesses, doing an enormous amount of stuff, and it felt great. Like, I never felt, um, like, at every progressive day, I felt better and better. And I didn't even need to eat when I ate. Why did I eat? I don't know, I miss food <laughs> after six days. But I'm kind of disappointed by myself. Like after you go six, if you ain't suffering, like go seven, hello. Um, so keep that in mind for next time. <clears throat> but, um, you know, if you're not, if the cold thing isn't quite working out for you, you know, isn't it better to take a little coffee with cream or no cream, whatever, versus not dry fasting. And extended dry fasts are going to be a lot more beneficial than these little short OMAD things. What is it? One meal a day or whatever. Um, especially, you know, f well, for healing and for um, weight loss, but uh, if you have extra weight on you, I bet you have healing to do. And so it's um, gonna be more beneficial to do a longer stint of time where you can actually move and do things. I will go hiking and swimming and paddle boarding and carrying my babies uh taking care of them cleaning organizing building like whatever variety of things that i gotta do i will do when i'm dry fasted six days but i did have that very strong coffee in the morning and a few shots of vodka at the night so judge me as wrong as you, if you want but as far as i can tell both of those things came from god-given nature and fermented foods are the way we should be eating plants that's alcohol and coffee beans are in fact fermented and then they are roasted so they are perfectly prepared according to the knowledge that i have gotten on how to eliminate plant poisons and toxins so those two are the ideal way to consume plants um so that's why i'm for it take into consideration listen to your body try stuff and don't do stuff that doesn't feel good you shouldn't have to continue to suffer 
our programming has um, pushed us into a lifestyle and way of living that causes an enormous amount of deterioration and suffering. And I think that we deserve to not suffer anymore. And this doesn't need to hurt, you know? And uh, I'd rather you turn to those things on oh, a little marijuana so you can fall asleep while you're fasting is phenomenal. Instead of what, you're gonna take your fucking sleeping pills or you're just not gonna sleep? No, sleeping pills are horrendous. Like Jesus Christ, the side effects of that shit is like frightening. And um, not sleeping, dear Lord, no. No, 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 get stoned as hell and go past the fuck out. I don't give a shit. Like, judge me is wrong. Well, I ain't here to be popular. I'm here to tell you shit that actually works. A very high functioning life. And I rest a lot. As you can see, I'm resting right now. Mm. I have the privilege at the moment of not having my children. And I'm traveling. And I, uh, I'm going to take advantage to get as much sleep as I can. Because I know when I go home, I'm going to bust my ass. You know? So sleep, 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 sleep. When you can, give yourself opportunities to just sleep for days and days and weeks on end. If you're a really tired, burned down, sick person, the best healing happens during REM sleep. Weird as hell that in the hospitals where they're supposed to be healing people, they don't let you fucking sleep. <laughs> like Jesus Christ, they're retarded. <laughs> I'm sorry, I love you, I'm just kidding, you don't know any better. Yeah, do things to help you sleep that come from nature, right? Yeah, there's Valeria and all this other shit, but I feel like I've tried all, I've done, I've taken all that stuff. I've studied and used herbs for 25 plus years. Wonderful, great, not as good as weed, okay? So, Luckily, it's becoming legal, and so a lot of you can just chill the fuck out about the, all oh, the, whatever, <laughs> you know, judging it as wrong when it's a God gift to us. Thank you, dear Lord Jesus, God and guides and angels, whatever in the world's out there, I don't know, but we're grateful, and we're going to use those tools to our advantage. Don't overdo shit and fuck yourself. You can overdo plants, trust me. I have overdone that shit before. So you can listen to my vegan videos, find out a little bit about that and how good they are, but there they are. And um, dry fast, dry fast. Do things that help you dry fast and heal because you can heal completely and nearly everything. Like, okay, you can't grow back a leg. I, I, Never seen that. Maybe you can. I don't want to like jinx anyone, but but for the most part, your body can heal. Mm -hmm. I know because I've done it. And um, dry fasting is a huge part of you healing. Do what you need to do uh, to be successful in dry fasting. That shit for free. So I don't even want to hear excuses. Okay, love you. Mm -hmm.